Hello everybody, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft PvP texture pack thumbnail. First, you're going to download a Hypixel map, or any map that you think looks nice. I'm going to use Tribal, it's a Bed Wars map. Then, you're going to go down and find an area that you think would be a good spot to take a screenshot. I have mine marked in red wool. The first three things you're going to grab is the NPC wand, the mob cloner, and the NPC deactivator. Then with the mob cloner, you're going to right click where your screenshot's going to take place, click poses, click running one, and click spawn. If it's not facing the direction you want, you're going to right click with the NPC wand and go to AI and then movement, and then rotate this to however you like. Alright, so this is how I'm going to do mine. Then you're going to want to grab a sword and a set of armor. I'm going to use a diamond sword, iron leggings and boots and leather chest plate and helmet. If you're using leather, dye it to whatever you think will look good for the thumbnail. You're gonna right click with the NPC wand, go to inventory, and put on the stuff. Once you've had it all set up, you're gonna right click again, go to texture, click it once, and type in whatever your username is, and it'll put on your skin. Then you're gonna right click again, and go to cape, and you can click select texture, and then pick whatever cape you want. And once you've got that all set up, you're going to go to Options and change your FOV down to 30. And go to Video Settings, Shaders, and turn on Complementary Reimagined. Then go into Spectator Mode. Then press F2. And go back into Creative Mode. And click on the NPC Deactivator. Go back into F1 and take a screenshot of that. And now the screenshotting process is done. Now we're going to go into Photo P, click New Project, and set the background to Transparent and copy these settings. Then you're going to press Windows R, percent app data, percent, click dot Minecraft, scroll down until you find screenshots, and then we'll be at the bottom. You're going to drag both of these in and you can close out the screenshots folder. Now we're going to click on this rectangle, right click it, polygon a lasso select, and we're going to start outlining. Then once you've got the outline, click Control J, and you'll have your own guy right here. We're going to delete the original one, so now we're going to move this guy around. I'm going to resize him. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow. And then click on the rectangle tool, click the lip select, and you're going to make a decently sized one. Then you're going to click on the brush, and you're going to fill this in. If it's not the color you want, like me, and you don't know how to change it, we're going to click Control J, so we have that now. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and we're going to turn the brightness all the way down, and the contrast all, contrast all the way up. And we're gonna keep doing that until it's completely black. Now I've got a completely black oval. I'm gonna drag it under the player, like that. I'm gonna resize it a little bit. I'm gonna turn the opacity down to around 70. We're gonna click on filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then you can adjust this to however much you like to make it look normal. I'm gonna do 8.6. I've got that done, we're going to add the texture pack part. Now we're going to open Windows R again, percent app data, percent, dot Minecraft again. Now we're going to scroll down until we see resource packs, click that. Then you're going to find whatever texture pack you want to use, I'm using Midnight. I'm going to double click it, assets, Minecraft, textures, then you're going to go to GUI. And you're gonna find icons and widgets. I'm gonna drag this out here. Drag this one out too. Now you're gonna find out how big they are. You're gonna right click it, go to properties, click details, and then right here it'll show you. So this is 256 by 256. Now we're gonna go back into Photo P, click file, then click new. You're gonna make it however big yours is, 256, and then you're gonna change this to the max you can and keep this transparent. Click Create, and we're going to drag one in. We're gonna do icons first. Now, 
we're gonna drag whatever heart is in the texture pack by using the rectangle select. And you're gonna drag only over where the heart is, Control J. And we're gonna drag this down over to the empty area. You're gonna do this for the empty heart too. You can have them kind of spaced, or you can have them right next to each other. I'm gonna have a bit of a space. Then we're gonna drag down these two. Then when it's in the free transform mode, we're gonna click right click, then flip horizontally. I'm gonna drag it over it like this. There's a bit of a gap right here. So I'm gonna copy and paste this area into it. And now I have it like this. Then we're gonna drag the other heart over and we're gonna place it next to it like this one. Now we're gonna grab the hunger bar. Depending on what it looks like, it might be like this or it might be something like this. I'm gonna use this one though. You're gonna drag this down here and you're gonna make it a bit further to the side. Then we're gonna select the half hunger one too. And we're gonna copy and paste another one of the original. And boom, we got the hunger part done. Now we're gonna get the XP bar. I'm gonna use the lighter blue one because it seems like it matches a bit more. We're gonna grab a bit of this. Then we'll also get the empty XP bar part. I'm gonna put them over each other like this. I'm gonna drag the rectangle select over both of them so I can find out how long it is. So it is 131, so in the middle would be about 65. So about right there is the middle. I'm gonna click Control J on whatever part it is, and I've got that bit. I'm gonna drag the rectangle select over it again, and then put it over the XP bar. So it's that. Then I'm gonna delete the two longer parts of it, and drag this like that, so it's even and we're gonna merge them down. And as you can see, it's a lot longer than this part, so we're gonna make it smaller. So we're gonna hold Control or Shift, and we're gonna drag it inwards so then it matches and fits in better. And make it a bit longer than each part. And now that looks pretty good. And nice, now we got this part. We're gonna grab the armor, which would be this in my part. I'm gonna flip it, and I got that part in the middle. Then you can grab the bubbles from up here and add them to it. And now for the last part, we're gonna make a, another new folder. Make it 256 by 256 again, depending on what it is. And we're gonna drag the widgets one in now. From here, we're gonna grab the select box, control C, and paste it into here. And then we're gonna grab the empty slots. I'm gonna base it off of how big this one is, 22 by 22. And if it's 22 pixels, I'll grab that part and do 22, paste it into here. Then obviously there's that part. So I'm gonna control J it again. Control and I'll flip horizontally so we have a square. But that looks pretty off, so we're gonna merge it down. As you can see, there's a height difference, so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Then if there's any extra pieces you don't want, you can just drag it across and delete it. So now we got this part. We're gonna copy it one more time and drag it to this box. But it doesn't have to be perfect. You also wanna have the selected box uh, in the middle. It'll be basically impossible to tell in the actual thumbnail, so it doesn't matter too much. Now we're gonna merge down this part. We're gonna click the top part and hit control on the bottom one. Click merge layers and boom, now I got this. We can delete the icons part. We're gonna grab three more textures from here. We're gonna go to items and the three items I'm gonna be using is the diamond sword, the bow, and the gavel. So once I find the diamond sword, I'm gonna hold control, drag it out, click copy here, got the sword right there. I'm gonna grab the bow, bow standby, copy, and the golden apple. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And we're going to make a new new one. We can delete this one because we're not using it anymore. 
make a new file, and we're gonna do 16 by 16. Drag in our first one, control C, and copy into here. You can put them in the first box, but we're gonna change the size later. Delete it from there, drag into this one. Okay, now we've got them all in the boxes, we're gonna start changing the size. And we'll adjust it so it looks nice, we'll put it right there. If it ends up looking like this, you're gonna go up here, click nearest neighbor, and you're good. And now that we've got that, we can we can merge it all down. Copy this into here and resize it. And this looks pretty good. You're gonna wanna make it decently big. And now that you have it here, you're gonna double click on the layer, click 3D, and you're gonna angle it so it's behind it like this, or you can make it straight down like that. I'm it angled a little bit. And I'm going to make it just completely black. But I'm gonna change the distance and I'm gonna change the darken and the light. So I would like that so it looks a bit better and I'm gonna put the distance down a little bit. I'm just use normal, turn down the opacity a little bit. And now we're gonna start angling it. You're gonna hit Control Alt T and uh, Control and you're gonna angle it. So I ended up with this, but I don't really like the 3D-ness of it, so I'm gonna make it a little bit further out. I might change this to be a nice blue like these are. So I change it to be like this. I think I like this a lot. And I'm gonna make this a bit bigger maybe. And I'm gonna resize my character and make him a bit brighter using the vibrance and contrast and the brightness and contrast. I'm gonna outline his armor so I can change it to be a nice blue like this is. I think that looks nice. And I'm gonna add a drop shadow to the text. So I'm gonna use the ellipse select again, match it to be about as big as this is. Turn down the opacity again and add the Gaussian blur. We're gonna add a bit of effects to the background. We're gonna click Control J on it. We're gonna go to filter and filter gallery. First thing we're gonna do is glowing edges, click OK, and change the opacity down. So I think that looks really nice with and without it. Or you can change it to overlay like that. No, I'm gonna do overlay. Then I'm gonna do another one, filter, filter gallery. And you can look through these to see whatever you think looks nice. This one looks really nice, it's like a painting. Yeah, I like this, it'd look like that. I'm gonna change it to overlay and turn the opacity down to about 10%. I'm gonna merge that down and make another new one. And I think that looks good for now. Now we're gonna add some effects to the character. We're gonna click Control J on it again. Filter, filter gallery. And this time we're gonna click on Chrome. It adds this like metallic effect. And we're gonna change this to really low. And as you can see, it adds this like, without it, it's just normal. You can, I'm gonna change it to nine. So you can barely see it, but it is there. I think that's pretty cool. And another really good one to add is diffuse glow. This one makes it look really nice. You can, I'm gonna turn down the graininess all the way. So it just adds a nice glow to it. That's really bright. So I'm gonna turn the opacity down to about 30. See, without it, you don't have that like nice glow to it. And we can also do that with this. That's pretty nice, but we're gonna change the opacity down again. So it adds that nice little glow to it. And I'll change this to 35%. And I think that looks good for now. We're gonna go to here again, click on filter, click on blur this time and do lens blur. And I'm change it to, I think 16 looks good. And then if you want, you can look up light blue galaxy. You can find one that looks good to you. I'm gonna look up 1920 by 1080, this one. I'm gonna just do copy image, paste it in, and then resize it so it fits. To make it fit in better, I'm gonna add a radial blur to it. So then it's turned like that. 
and I'm gonna put it back down a little bit again. I'll do two layers. Here's your down. Then that looks nice. I like that. Then you can change this down. Uh, I think a hundred's fine. We can change the vibrance of it. Like that. Let's see if we turn it down. And there you are. Here is your thumbnail. If you want to add any other effects, you totally can. That's up to you. You can watch a tutorial on how to do it. And goodbye.